Special Counsel Rob Herr had a difficult job in a challenging environment. The result was a report that gave both Republicans and Democrats something to like and something to dislike. So is unhappiness a sign of fairness or failure? Herr seems to argue Biden was either one, incompetent to stand trial and participate in his own defense, or two, and some essential element, evidentiary element of the offense was missing, or three, the evidence was there, but prosecutorial discretion said don't go forward because a jury will not convict. So which was it, and does it matter? North Dakota Congressman Kelly Armstrong, to me, had a very effective line of questioning during the committee hearing this week, but he ran into that ridiculous five-minute deadline Congress applies, so bad questioners get the same amount of time as good ones, but not here. And he joins us now. Congressman, I, I'm still not sure what Rob Herr was arguing. Legal incompetency, a failure of evidence, or prosecutorial discretion. What did you hear? Well, I, I would have liked to continue my questioning on that very thing. It's clear that Biden willfully possessed those documents. They were national security documents. They have him on audio reading national security documents, classified documents to his ghostwriter, which essentially is all of the elements of the crime. It's all the elements of the crime. There's only three. And so how do you not recommend a prosecution? And it goes into exactly what you said. Two people had a really bad day during the hearing. I think President Biden had a bad day because it's clear he could conduct it. He, he did the illegal act and the political ramifications are that you can't prosecute him because he will come across as a forgetful, well-meaning old man is not great when you're running for president. But I also think the DOJ had another bad day because the, the underlying report clearly establishes that he willfully collected those documents. And yet again, they re refer they, they don't refer it for any further action. I like the law better than I do politics, but I want to switch to politics for a second. It is hard to win congressional hearings. There's a media headwind and half the panel is going in another direction. On balance, do you think it was worth having her there? Did you learn more than you knew when you woke up Tuesday morning? And do you think that his testimony moved any potential American voters? Uh, I didn't because I'd spent a lot of time with the report. I think it's important that we do that. I do think so. I think that people can clearly see that over the last since 2016, Trey, only three people have run for president. Only three. Hillary Clinton, Joe Biden and Donald Trump. All three of them have been accused of mishandling classified documents. Only one of them has been prosecuted. It's the only former president to ever be prosecuted. And I think uh, special, our special prosecutor here laid bare that President Biden committed each and every one of the underlying elements of the crime. So people get to see in real time that we have people being treated very differently depending on who they are. Yeah, I mean, if you leave the obstruction part out of it and just look at the underlying criminal statute, I actually think the facts are much better against Joe Biden than they are Donald Trump. I mean, he, he served in the Senate. He was on committees where he knew he could not do what he did, and he did it over a longer period of time. Before I let you go, I want to ask you, there were two lines in the report. One about Biden being an elderly man with a poor memory, and one about Trump's case being different. And those two lines seem to elicit the most questions. If you were special counsel, if you were the AG, are those lines necessary? Could he have done his job without including either of those lines? Uh, I think when you're not going to refer this case for further prosecution, even though, I mean, he could have just said, we don't prosecute sitting pe presidents. That's not what he did. Um, so I think the addition of why they weren't prosecuting uh, President Biden was necessary. With regards to the President Trump line, you used to prosecute. I used to be a defense attorney. The answer is not, OK, you committed a crime, but you cooperated afterwards or you didn't cooperate afterwards. So we're not going to charge you with the underlying crime. American people know that that would be a ridiculous outcome. So I don't particularly understand the difference on a separate set of charges for Trump than the underlying crime of keeping and disclosing classified documents. No, cooperation goes to the Senate you receive. It does not go to whether or not you are charged. You are right. Well, Look, I'm a harsh critic. I'm used to watching the old John Ratcliffe's of the world. I thought you did a fantastic job, and I found myself being happy you went first and sad that you had to stop after five minutes. So congratulations on a job well done. Thank you, sir.